44 aspirants in all were subjected to the vetting process, which was held in Kamara, the party's headquarters. The general secretaries, treasurers, vice chairman and chairman aspirants were amongst the last batch. In an interview after the vetting, they urged delegates to choose competence over personal loyalties. I'm very confident that we are going to reclaim victory in 2016. Exactly how are you going to do that? As I said, selecting the competent candidates at the local level, making sure the party is genuinely united and moving as a force and to ensure that the legally elected representatives of our people at the constituencies, the executives, become the fulcrum around which the campaigns are conducted. I think uh, what I'm bringing on board is simple. We all know that we are in a party in opposition. And a party in opposition, we need financial resources to be able to mobilize uh, activities that will give us the victory we require for 2016. So how to get resources to the grassroots constituencies is also a priority that I'm going to ensure that these resources will get there. <laughs> Any media, me mobia, me a people's mother. I am presenting to my party the new plan for power. And it is a strategic plan that is going to ensure that we beat the NDC in 2016. Or we need to unite this party. I am the person to unite this party. And once we are united, I promise you, we use the new plan for power, victory in 2016. We will walk into that Jubilee House, 7th January 2017. The incumbents, however, played up their advantage over their challenges. 2016, we shall win the elections. Thank you. We shall not go back to the court, but elections, we shall win the elections. How, how it is done. We work very hard together with all our party delegates and the rank and file of Ghanaians. Now you could see that Ghanaians are suffering. There's too much suffering in the land. Now this government has no clue what is happening. And prayers alone cannot help Dom Hama. Duncan Williams, 10 of Duncan Williams cannot help Dom Hama. Yes. It's the MPP who would rescue this country from, 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 from the quagmire in which we find ourselves. And the question of whether you get retained or not, it's a matter for the delegates to decide on that. Exactly. We must begin to look at managing this party like a corporate institution. So you need people with some competences to come on board. And I think I do have some of those. I've been in management for uh, quite a, a greater part of my life. Inshallah. I certainly have the experience and I certainly have the knowledge and the brains. Okay, um, so we'll see if the delegates say yes. Then we'll try and uh, put it together. Well, it's a different time. It's a different time. So it has to be a slightly different message. You know, but the same thing is, I mean, the, the, the objective is still the same. The objective is to rescue this country from the gang of thieves and try and bring the country back onto, back onto proper governance again. Yes, the MPP knows what to do. Yeah. Start off by being not thieves, by being uh, straightforward people, okay. by making sure that the monies that are that the, the country realizes in revenues or in aid or whatever are used for the purposes for which they have been uh, secured. The national executive elections of the party is scheduled to be held in Tamale on April 12, 2014.